I think Daddy's doing a piano. Water basin right now. Out here, you can see all the the salt in the water and probably different borax. minerals. Yeah. And there's a whole lot of borax around here, and so a lot of the white stuff is. These little miniature towers could be tufas, which is like um, minerals that grow on top of each other to make towers. These are little tiny towers. I don't know, about 12 inches high or so. Just from all the minerals growing in this very mineral dense water. So the Badwater Basin is the lowest point in the in California, and, and the mountains the over, there, over there. It's the highest point in California, and Mount, Mount Whitney. Whitney. <laughs> Are you? I guess it's more a video or a camera. Yeah. What do you think about it? I get like a long time of erosion, and you, can, and you can see all uh, and all around us is like just going straight down. So it's really cool what erosion can do.
and it, there's you gotta speak up. from use of water dripping down the rock walls as we're in the actual bridge canyon. Daddy, look at You gotta wave. Liesl, you don't show up very well in the video. Arms. Where you're going? Are you So this part of Death Valley is called Devil's Golf Course. And this is where the salt formations are extraordinary. Uh, 
they keep growing more and more. Every time it rains, it leaches more and more salts up out of the mountain and then deposits it here where occasionally this gets submerged and then it grows more and more. They say that on a hot day, you can hear a metallic clanking sound as the minerals are expanding and it makes Okay, from Devil's Golf Course, looking at the distance is where the Badwater Basin is. It's part of the same basin where we are several miles away. That's a little lower over there. And then drove over to this area in the mountains is where the bridge was. because you can see all of the colors. Get ready.
on is pretty much fossilized mud that's dried over the years. You can see it's formed in recent layers. And we came here right before the sun came up. The sun's still coming up. You can't see. We're looking as long distance as my phone will get. If Katya and Liesl are disappearing behind a dune, there, Alicia and Soren are on top of the dune walking there in the distance. Here's Talia getting the sand out of her shoes. The sun's almost up. Trying to make our way towards the large. Liesl and Katya are climbing up the dune.
that and getting a shadow. There it is, first rays of dawn. Yeah, I'm gonna throw these. Mm -hmm. Well, then nobody's going to hold them. Are you guys tired of walking through the desert yet? Yeah. It's kind of hard to go up and down the dunes. Like your legs get tired. Also, do you think they checked the sand at the beach? So we're here at a gas station uh, to get gas. We had just finished with the sand dunes. It is uh, not quite eight o'clock and we just have to wait until the gas station opens up. Uh, we don't probably have enough gas to uh, get it far enough, especially where we're camping. There is a gas station, but uh, fuel there is about $4.50 per gallon. Um, the normal price everywhere else uh, at home is about These are the massive wagons that they use to carry the borax out of the valley. 
These will stand up there so you can see how big they are by comparison. Yeah. Wheels are. You can't get next to it, but it's seven feet tall, 2.1 meters. And. No, 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 no. We're stopping for a quick lunch as we're visiting the ghost town called Rhyolite. So, very boring here. Here we are, all sitting down, <laughs> eating lunch. Uh, it it's a lot colder than we thought. It was 75 degrees down in Death Valley. And then we drove up to the top of the mountains uh, for where this uh, ghost town is. And the temperature dropped down to 53 degrees. So it's a little chilly. Um, but they are still doing some active mining, apparently, out there in the hills. This building here, we don't know exactly what it is about. Uh, obviously some sort of garage and the sign says HD and LD Porter with a date on the top, 1906. And this is apparently an old school building and we only know that because it's someone so right there. made this painted sign right here that says school. School. And that's about all there is to this town, there's ruins laying around, but there's not a whole lot else that's standing with enough to tell what it was. Yeah, the evidence, evidence of the mines are still around. Do you see mines, Liesl? Oh yeah. So. Are you, uh, so we're going to start walking the Salt Creek River Trail. And I just came up here to check out Little Creek, which Reese is called the Puffish. And it's like in spring, that's when they start growing. And as you it's like small, they're really small right now. But you can see them just kind of swimming around. So you can focus on that. It seems like it. Oh, it's like its own unique color. Water is so briny or salty that there's salt crystals forming on the edge of of there. I don't know if you can tell, but that is not it's rocks. All the white. So Tali, how do we build this fire? So you put uh, the lighter on the bottom, like newspaper, and then no. you put kindling towards the top, and you put some really small kindling right there. What is kindling, Talia? It's small pieces of wood, pretty much. Then small pieces of wood. And then as, I, as it got higher and higher, I put bigger and bigger pieces. You can see it's really big, and then awesome. You just kind of light the fire right there, right there. All right. And, and there it's going. So tell me how how it went, Soren. So I just I, I just got some more magnesium. Then I sat down and I started sparking it. And the trick about it is you got to do. Enduring extremely high winds in our tent. Just a moment ago, the entire wall of the tent was laying down on top of us. It comes in gusts. And here we are, 
Yeah, okay. I am. Oh. So we just packed up. There's our van down there and we're beginning of the last day. We're getting ready to go hike what? What are we gonna hike? Mummy Canyon. All right. Named in honor of me. Yes. Okay. All right, and what better place to wash your hands than with that and your backdrop? What are you doing here? Uh, we're hiking Mummy Canyon. We are told that there's a mummy looking formation back there. So. Might be hard to hear because of all the wind. Uh, yeah. Let's turn so we can see this. Oh, can you tell us what that is, Soren? A little closer to your face. It's called travertine. They make a lot of Fine. Uh, you gotta show it to us near your face. Found a piece of you gotta put it in the sunshine so we can see it. Of mud, and it looks as though there's a fossil. Like that's that's either imprinted on it or is in there. Yeah. It's really cool. And there's these other rocks. Extremely windy. We we didn't we were not on the trail before. We took the wrong path, but we can see now that there's clearly a trail. So we found it uh, by going up and over the ridge. But we found some fossilized wood, which it was way. Extraordinary rocks up here. Pretty sure we took the wrong path. We did not see a mummy, but it was a really cool hike. Uh, we came to the top of this ridge up here and saw mountain goat food. Here we are, we've finished our four days in Death Valley full of adventure and we're on our way home, but it was a beautiful time.